All right, it's time to rank another soundtrack, and this time I'm gonna be doing Super Mario Brothers on the NES. Now this is a very short soundtrack, and I only do the stage themes on these rankings, so we just have four songs. I did not include the bonus areas up in the clouds, which also doubles as the invincibility theme. And of course, I didn't include the end credits, game over, jingle, like none of that's extra stuff, just the stages, so there's only four. It's a short ranking, but I feel like this is a soundtrack worth talking about. It's very iconic music in this game, very iconic game, of course. So I figure I'll do a shorter ranking than I usually do. I'll preface this like I always do by saying that this list is just my opinion. It's not worth any more or less than anybody else's. Just an arbitrary list that may change from day to day anyway. So I encourage you to leave your opinions in the comments. I encourage discussion and debate. So without any further ado, let's get on with the list. Number four, Castle. This one's such a dark and sinister mood. It's got that whole danger music vibe that would show up on TV. In fact, they did use it on the Super Mario Bros. Super Show for that purpose. You're certainly not going to confuse this with a bonus stage theme, that's for sure. It is a short loop, which hurts it a bit, but it didn't need anything else, really. It's just the perfect atmosphere for the last stage of each world and being in this dark castle from hell, it's utilized perfectly. And in particular, I love the chord progression of the bass. It's really demonic. Number three, Underwater. Now this is quite the departure from the last song. This one is more of a, a cheerful waltz. It's a bit of a shame that you don't hear this one that much in the game. Out of the 32 stages, only two of them are underwater. There are little detours, like there's an underwater shortcut, and then there's the, the short underwater segment right before the home stretch at the final stage, but it's not a lot. But when you do hear it, it's a nice change of pace. In fact, the song was so good that it was re-recorded for the title screen for Super Mario Bros. 2. Number 2, Underground. This one's minimalistic, but it's all the better for it. And here's the whole loop. That's it. End of loop. But like I said, it should be as minimalistic as it is. The silence in between the notes captures the feel of being in this hollow underground dungeon of sorts. All that dead air and empty space. There's a suspense factor to it. Like something could be around the corner. Not that that element really exists in the game, but I do see that being there in the song. Just a great example of how simplicity just works sometimes. Number one, Overworld. Now, I'm not picking this one just because it's the most iconic original song in the history of video games and the quote-unquote obvious choice. It's genuinely the best song in the game. I mean, who the hell played this game and didn't have the main melody playing back in their head on a loop? It's infectious as all hell. And there's a pretty good chunk of sections, too. With the main riff coming in a couple times as a way to bridge the gap. And it all flows so seamlessly that you might even forget that there's more than one part in the first place. As limited as the soundtrack is in general, I mean there's only a few songs and some of them are short loops, this song has more substance than a lot of NES songs, especially in the early era of the console. Just absolutely legendary. So that's it for this list. Here's a quick recap. Number four, Castle. Number three, Underwater. Number two, Underground. And number one, Overworld. So, what was your opinion of this? What choices would you have made differently? Feel free to leave comments, and I'll see you next time.